One of the more complicated figures using the cuatro is the G7. This requires all fingers, each and every single one of them in a different position. And the most efficient way of playing it is by starting off with your index finger. You're going to have it on the top string, so that's going to be on the third string. Your middle finger will go on the first string and your ring finger and pinky will then go on the second and the fourth string. That's G7. If we were to use this and to look for A7, for example, distance between G and A is two half tones, so we're going to slide the G7 down not one, but two frets, and there's our A7 chord. This can be applied for all notes, for all chords. So let's have a look at, for example, right there. It's our B7 and our D7. It's one of the more difficult chords or figures to play because it requires all fingers. There is no bar. And in the beginning, it will take a little bit of time, so your fingers get accustomed to marking the different strings in different frets, but afterwards it will become second in nature.